Hello all, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about one a new question that I've received around unable to download symbols for being central on-prem. So before we get into that, I just wanted to share a chat text with you, all of you, so that you can help me uh, continue doing these videos and help me uh, with whatever I'm doing. So we have noticed, uh, based on YouTube metrics, that majority of the people who are watching this video, which is I'm thankful for, are have not subscribed to the channel. So if you like the content that's being published here, I would highly request you to subscribe to the channel so that we can continue doing whatever we are doing. Coming back to the topic. So this question is around on-premises. And I have an environment and we'll try to two versions to see what kind of settings we need to know to set this so before we go ahead with that let's start a visual studio code and let's start a new project so let me zoom this in so that we all can see it okay and let's do a go go is a command that you need to create a new AL extension will take the path as default and then the target platform now the target platform tells you which release you are targeting this to on the top it will always be the latest version that is general availability in the market which is 10.0 targeting to 2022 release wave 2 and so on and so forth so based on which version you are building your extension to you need to choose that uh, a lower version will always be compatible with a higher one based on some settings because the target platform settings uh, automatically set some parameter on your app.json as that gets built in. So choose your version as you need, which then creates a app.json structure and then it asks you where you would like to connect. Now, for this video purposes, that are going to connect to your own server, which is localhost, rather than connecting to Cloud Sandbox. So we'll choose the second option. And with that, system will create a launch file. I'll skip the user. And has also created a app.json, which is the metadata of this extension. So based on what you select uh, on the platform, the runtime is set. set. And based on this, the application is set. Rest all is same. Based on also that uh, either it's a resource exposure policy or show my code. And the feature selection is also based on that. So choose your target platform wisely. Now to mimic the question, I have created some problems so that I should not be able to download symbol. What I'm trying to target is on my on-prem, my server as in this case is locally hosted so I'll change it to localhost my service name is bc210 as you can see here it's called bc210 I can't access it because the administration cell is no longer supported and then my authentication that I'm using is Windows now once you have set these parameter based on your environment you should be now able to run the command to download symbols, which is al download symbol. As I do that, it'll try to connect to that server, and in this case, it's end up with an error message. The error message tells you most of the detail that you need to fix it. Uh, the server is started. You need to make sure that your service is running. So let's see if I refresh this. Yes, my service seems to be running. The development endpoint is enabled, which is developer service enabled server setting. So let's have a look on it. As we have previously discussed in another video, and I'll add it somewhere here, uh, you'll see uh, a thumbnail here to navigate to that video, how to set those settings as the administration cell is not enabled. Let's open PowerShell and let's start uh, reviewing that process. So before we do anything, we need to load the uh, PowerShell command for Business Central. Microsoft Business Central 210 service and then PS1. 
with this it will load all the business admin commands available into it now to get the uh, server configuration or the service configuration what you do is get nav server nav and I need to zoom this in it seems so that everybody can see it okay get nav server configuration and then you need to give the service name and let's have this so if you know the setting name you can just key in there so if you look at your VS code it says the setting name should be developer service enabled okay let's go up and check this when we run this it says that it is set to false and you can also if you don't know the setting you can also search it here which is developer service enabled which is set to false and that's the value which was written here so what you need to do we need to set this value so how we do that we we'll just change get to set we know the key name which is my developer service enabled my service where I want to enable this and then the value that I would like to set it to is true let's run this as soon as this is set it will say it will only work when you restart so let's do a restart nav server instance and bc210 as the service gets restarted this uh, developer service endpoint uh, will be enabled and hopefully with the developer service enabled we should be able to download the symbol so now let's understand how it happens and the setting remains same from business central 14 till the latest version in our business central so you can follow the same steps you can even do it from powershell as we are doing even if your version is less than business central 21.0 or 21 or lower so these are not specific to 21 we are just doing it for 21 because the question was for 21 plus the 21 did not have the administration cell so that's the only way to do it at the same time let's go back and try reading was there anything else that would have helped us the service name matches to one in the URL that means service name is enabled or is wrong the port number will come to it in a while and the protocol match this match which may be where to use the setting so let's see where we are on the service restart as it's still happening we should be able to see it here let's start trying to run this start pending okay so while this is happening can we try pointing it to bc200 and download the symbol how you do that you don't have to change the settings if needed you can just add a new configuration using this button and this time I would say attach to next client on your server or publish to your own server so now there are two settings in this case I'm going to localhost and then bc200 and the authentication is windows so now I have two sub configuration one is called uh, for bc200 and this is called for these are name of settings so you can name them anything one zero with this I should be able to see a drop down here when I try to download symbol that which one I want to connect to is it bc200 or bc210 so when I try bc210 I also end up with a similar kind of message as we saw there so let's go back and in the bc200 because there is administration cell you can always go to the not it's not now the last tab but here on the development you see this enable developer service endpoint is disabled also on this so based on the version that you are in you first need to check that your developer service endpoint is enabled or not okay let's save this as you did that it will also require a restart of bc200 in the meantime our bc210 is right now running so at this point i can actually download symbol from bc210 while this is running let's try using bc210
okay so that did that it started downloading i guess symbol has been downloaded we should be able to see them here so what we change is to make sure that our developer endpoint is set correctly what i'll do is i'll just delete it and we'll see one other thing that you also need to check based on the version that you are in so now we will try again with the bc200 and let's see what happened again as a message and i hope that my service is running it's still running now what happens and this is maybe something that you need to check with your administrator who sets up uh, services for you each service in business central instead of four ports now require five ports one is a client service port sorry to start with the management service port then the client service port soap service port or data service port and then there is a development service port now the development service port is used to connect to your visual studio code so if you go up in the error message you will notice that what it is trying to do is is trying to send a request to http localhost which is your server and then there is a port number called 7049 and then your service name and then this is the default path which is dev metadata and then in the corner so what's the extra parameter here is the port number if you only have one version installed or if you did a Kronos installation or a demo installation it will always point to the default port that you have but in this case my bc200 is not a default installation i have changed some parameter into it so the second thing that you need to do is come down here and make sure what port number you are using in the development so if you look at it the port number that i'm using is 6049 if not specified on a service tier the port number will default to 7049 which only comes with the default installation so if you don't specify this on your configuration file it will always default to 7049 in our case of bc200 service because this port was already used i have changed it to 6049 so if you have customized the port during your installation for development then you need to make sure that you specify the same port in your configuration that is used to download and then publish your extension at this point l package is empty i have specified the port now if i try to download the symbol with 200 and you look at it it's it actually goes to localhost 6049 200 dev and then this let's see yeah. okay one got downloaded let me try again okay it should download is it the service name is bc200 yes it's bc200 and it's running okay let me do a reload and let's try to download the symbol again because if one is downloading i'm pretty sure others will also download okay so this now i choose bc200 it'll go ahead and start populating the content of this folder as the symbols get downloaded okay it seems hmm. okay let's try to download again it should not be a problem now oh because i'm trying to connect to a bc 200 i think it is dependent on this also so let me try that doing that I hope that's not a problem but sometime who knows okay so now if you see the the when I try to download the symbol it actually went to the local host 6049 and then looking for the different packages now what was happening before that let me explain you because we created this 
pack uh, this extension with the uh, with the target platform of 21 it was always trying to fetch the apps for bc210 and i'll show you what i mean by that so when i try to download the symbol again it said i cannot find anything with 21.0 same here to 21.0 the problem is it is looking for the version 21 which is less than what is configured on your app.json platform property application property so i change this to 20 i'm hoping this should now should be able to download the symbols so your application property on your app.json is used while generating which version of application you would like to download from the server that you're connecting to okay so what we learned today let's do a quick recap uh, to download the symbol and this is on-prem only you need to make sure that your developer service enabled uh, property is set to true if it is not set to true and you are using business center 210 you need to set it via powershell if you are using bc200 or less you can use it uh, change it by using the uh, administration panel in the development tab the other common thing that you need to remember that if it is a default installation the port will be 7049 which is default set on the uh, your launch.json if you have customized that port during a custom installation that you're doing you also need to specify the property for port which points to the custom port that you're targeting third while building your extension make sure to choose the right target because the target property defines what URL will be generated while trying to download the symbol. I hope if you remember these three settings, you should be able to good with downloading symbols. I hope the person who has a question now knows the answer of it and this video helps him or her to solve his problem or her problem. <coughs> if you still have some questions, <coughs> do add it into the comments of this video and I'll try to answer soon as soon as possible. If you like the content, do share the video, do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time with the next question and next post in Business Center. Thank you. Have a nice day.